Hey there, Guardian. Looking pretty buff. Hit level 20 IC. Grats, grats. So now what? XP ain't gonna level you up like it used to, and there's this weird light situation going on, and all these weapons are way too expensive, and what even is a mode of light? Well, just take a deep breath. Remember that you're still humanity's only hope in this crazy world, and your only hope for leveling up, taking on high-level raids, and getting legendary gear is to pick up all the knowledge I'm about to drop. First things first, let's get to leveling. You want to push north of 20, you're going to need gear with light on it. Equip light gear and gain light. Gain enough light and level up. So, what are the ways you can get light gear? Number one, the same way you got gear before, dummy. Any story missions you replay can still drop gear, and because you're level 20, that gear stands a chance of carrying light. Number two, Vanguard missions. Hit up the strike playlist and you're guaranteed to walk away with a piece of light gear. Well, almost guaranteed. There's still a bit of randomness in play here, or as I like to call it, Bungie's insidious plot to demoralize and defraud me by not dropping what I need and or want. Number three, Crucible missions. Same deal as Vanguard missions, same degree of randomness slash evil plot. At least the variety of battling other Guardians beats the repetition of running the exact same Vanguard missions over and over again. Unless you're into that sort of thing, I guess. I'm not gonna judge you. But the final and most reliable way to acquire light gear is number four, buying gear from one of the many vendors in the tower. And this is where things get tricky, see, because you can't just roll up to a quartermaster with a fistful of glimmer and a twinkle in your eye. You need the right reputation, and you need the right currency. Let's start with rep. There are three kinds of reputation, vanguard, crucible, and faction specific. You earn vanguard rep from strike missions and patrol missions. You earn crucible rep from fighting in the crucible. You earn faction-specific rep from doing any of these activities, anything that gets you any kind of rep at all, while wearing a faction-specific fashion statement, aka class armor. So buy a beach towel from the future war cult, a hip sash from Dead Orbit, or a bedazzled bangle from New Monarchy, and all the rep you earn while wearing it will go to that specific faction reputation. Which raises the question, which faction should you choose? New Monarchy! Dead Orbit. F -f -f future war cult. You can check their stocks to get an idea for the aesthetic style and practical stats of the stuff each faction has to offer, and each one favors two of the three armor attributes, discipline, intellect, and strength. But the bigger question is, is it worth pouring all your rep into a specific faction, or sticking with the straight-up vanguard and crucible reputation pools? There are a few things to consider when making this decision, but basically it boils down to this. If you don't mind, or even enjoy, playing competitive multiplayer, choose a faction. If you only ever want to shoot aliens, stick with the normal vanguard. Then pick up all the daily bounties, complete all the daily bounties, and boost that rep until it hits level 2. Once you hit that threshold, go ahead and buy yourself a legendary piece of light armor! You deserve it! Hey, way to go, champ! Looking sharp! So now that light gear is the only thing that boosts your level, what is XP good for? You're knocking out these bounties and just gobbling down XP, but for what? Well, XP still levels up your gear. It still unlocks skills for your subclass. And now, it also goes towards the generation of motes of light. This is a kind of rare currency, so there's gotta be someone around here who's selling something good, right? Oh hey, speaker, what do you got there, buddy? Oh, cool, just like a bunch of... Class armor and emblems, I see. One of the rarest currencies in the game for some cosmetic doodads. Okay, cool, bud, I'll check you later. Bye. Come on, there's gotta be someone around here who's got the goods. I got all these motes of light burning a hole in my pocket. Oh, hey, who's that guy? He wasn't here during the weekdays. Let's go and ask him. Excuse me, sir. What are you buying? Holy space tentacles, Batman. I mean, um, I mean, uh, wh what are you selling? An exotic engram for motes of light. Hmm, bit of a gamble there, but so shiny. Oh, and a few gear bits for the brilliantly named Strange Coins. Now that's the kind of tangibility I like. His stock changes every weekend, but it seems that if you want a sure thing from this Zur fella, you'll need Strange Coins. Best place to grab those is the Weekly Strike, providing you've got the light gear to take it on. The higher level you are, the more difficulty tiers you can run it on, and the more coins you can reap. But the weekly strike is more of a mid-twenties kind of thing, so once you hit that level 20 threshold, make your reputation decision about a faction versus vanguard and crucible, 
Then rock those bounties, boost that rep, and buy your way to higher and higher levels. If you find that you're easily fulfilling bounties and want a way to really go after better gear, then you, my friend, are entering the Grind Zone. Welcome to the Grind Zone. Do not attempt to play levels normally. Do not go to a random place and just start killing dudes. We have certain methods and locations for maximal grind rewards. Please consult the GameSpot video titled Destiny Legendary and Glimmer Farming Spots and Tips for more information. And enjoy your stay in the Grind Zone. And there you have it, Guardian, your guide to pushing past level 20 and into the glorious realms of legendary loot and hard-as-balls strike missions. If you have any tips of your own or want to find some skilled players to party up with, sound off in the comments below. In the coming months, we'll be grinding our way ever onwards and upwards to bring you high-level tips and strategies, so be sure to make GameSpot your destiny destination. Your destination. <laughs> Um, sorry, I'll just show myself. Ah!